Well, hello, Kawartha Heights families and happy almost weekend. I know that there are many questions and some concerns about returning to face-to-face -face learning on Monday. Please know that all the staff at Kawartha Heights will do everything in our power to make sure that this return is as safe as possible. But ultimately, we need your help. This short video is intended to give you some key messages as well as some new changes you might want to know about before Monday. Parents and guardians, please watch for the Parent Peak of the Week on Sunday that will have more details to come. As we return to school this week, there's some very important things to know. First of all, we encourage everyone that is eligible to get vaccinated. Vaccines are one of the best ways that we can fight this virus. Secondly, every child and staff member must complete the daily screening tool and then submit the information to the board. The link to do this will be sent to you and it's also available on the school and board website. This is a new protocol, so take a minute to think about how this can fit into your family's morning routine. Remember, if you don't pass the screening, then there'll be clear information given to you on next steps. And of course, if you're not feeling well for any reason at all, please stay home. Not only does it help you to get better, but also it ensures that others won't catch what you have. Cougars, when we return on Monday, it will be very important to make sure that you have your mask on at all times. We also want to make sure that your mask is tight fitting and that it fully covers your nose and your mouth. Baggy masks, they don't help us. Please bring extra tight fitting masks from home because you'll need to change them out as they get wet or dirty. And in the winter time, this happens more often. So having three, four, maybe even five masks is a really good idea. The only time that we won't be wearing our masks is when we're eating. We will now also be wearing our masks outside just like we did last year. And if you're outside and you need a mask break, then you can find a quiet spot away from your friends, take off your mask for a little bit, and then when you're ready, put it back on and go back to play. This is exactly the same routine that we did last year and you did such a great job, so I know that we can do this again. Along with mirroring our masks outside, you're probably wondering what else will be a little bit different next week, so here are a few things to note. When you arrive at school on Monday, you'll be going right outside. For the next little while, we'll not be staying outside before school. This way, we're making sure that we are not cross-cohorting with other classes. When it's recess time, you'll be going back to like it was last year, where you'll have one area assigned to your class and you'll need to stay with your friends in your class only. We'll let you know where your assigned spot is on Monday, and remember that every few weeks we'll switch up the locations so that everyone has a chance to be in all parts of the yard. And one last routine, we'll be returning to our class bathroom breaks, just like we did at the beginning of the year. All of these changes are helping us to stay together in classes without cross-cohorting, which is one of the biggest things that we can do at school to help limit the spread of COVID-19. Well, Cougars, I know this is a lot of information, but hopefully it gives you just a little tiny taste of what's to come next week. All of the staff at Kawartha Heights are very excited to see you back at school. So rest up, feel well, and we look forward to seeing you on Monday.